Good morning and welcome to another vlog. Today we're gonna get abstract. The thing is with abstract art is it's really easy to make it look bad and boring. Yeah, I've made a lot of that. What I like to do with abstract art is do a lot of layers. So let it dry, come back to it, do something else. Do a different technique, do a different something, add a different mood. Something else that I find really important with abstract art is the planning aspect. I know, that's like... But until you really get into your groove, sitting down with your sketchbook first and really channeling what you want to put forth, what you kind of want it to look like once it comes out, is really important. So I'm going to walk you through that first, and then we're going to get painting. I'll move to my floor because I like to paint on the floor. As you may have noticed, I really like to work on the floor. I don't know why. That's probably why my neck hurts all the time. So I feel like something that people do a lot with abstract art is they tend to go towards the more like intense, dark emotions first, which I of course do because, you know, mental illness. But, you know, I kind of want to get away from this whole like tortured artist thing. It kind of, it just kind of bugs me. So today I'm going to, I'm going to be happy. I'm going to do something happy. Um, I want something that like I can put in a room and every time I look at it, I'm like, yeah, you know what? Life, it's worth living. <laughs> so <laughs> I'm in a pretty good place right now. So let's do that. Usually I put on music when I'm trying to channel mood because I find that that gets me in the space a lot easier than just my brain. Um, I'm not going to do that because I'm going to talk a little bit, but you know, just saying. Okay, so what I'm going to start out doing here is writing down my emotions. So I'm going to put joy. And then I'm going to just sketch a couple boxes. So my canvas here is square. So I should make them squares, not rectangles. Usually I work in rectangles. I don't know why, I just like that. Okay, so, joy. What makes me feel happy? You know what? I think I need music. So I did my little planning session, so this is what I came up with. I mean, these are gonna look like, they kind of look like kids' drawings, but that's okay. Um, so I think what I'm gonna do is actually something along the lines of this one. I like this like organic shape in the middle, and then using the colors that are used in here as more like tiles in the background, though they're still gonna be pretty freeform. I like this one too, but I don't know, I, I think it's just too close to like other things that I've done. So I'm gonna go with this one, even though like I don't love the drawing. I just like, I see this and I'm inspired that it, with paint it's gonna work out really well. So let's go for that. So I have a couple things here, just my basic student quality acrylics. You don't need anything fancy. And I've got this extender, which is a really good thing to have. It's kind of like an alternative to adding water to your acrylic paint. So it makes it closer to the drying time of like an oil paint, not quite, but like, you know, somewhere in between. Um, so you can work into it more. I especially like doing this for like my underpaintings and my kind of paint sketches instead of adding water because it doesn't make it all like drippy and weird. I've also got this little easel that I found in the deep dark depths of my art supplies. So I'm going to use that so maybe I don't kill my back. We'll see. Painting and filming is something that I'm definitely new to, so hopefully you can see this. If not, I guess you'll see the end result and all shall be well. I'm gonna paint in my kind of flowy, organic shape. Paint is like so forgiving, which is nice. It really like, it doesn't require you to make anything perfect. I think people are scared of paint because it seems like something that's more permanent than drawing, like you can't erase it. But you can always work back into it, you can always work over it. The thing you just want to be careful of is just creating too much texture, so putting it on too thick too early, then it's going to be hard to paint over it. Okay. So that's kind of where I want that to go. And then I'm also going to paint in my lines in the background. These I'm going to like completely paint over, but I just want to get 
a kind of sense of where I'm going to block in these other colors. I'm actually going to fill in this whole shape with purple because I have so little purple left that I, I don't want to waste any of it. So I'm going to just um, use what I've got here. Oh, okay. I got a little bit more. Could now go and work into these areas but I'm also really hungry so I think I'm gonna go make something to eat and let this dry while I do that and then I'm gonna come back and do these little areas and then as I'm doing these areas I'll have those colors wet so I can work them into here as well. Cool. Alright I'm back my paint's dry. Okay so I'm gonna mix up some other tones I'm going to do a red and kind of like a jade green. So I'm going to leave this here for now. It definitely needs to dry for a bit because otherwise if I go over it again with the paint, the paint will start to like peel and stuff if it's kind of halfway between drying. So I'll give that some air. I also should have checked before I started filming a video on acrylic paints that I actually had enough acrylic paints because um, I obviously haven't been to the art store in a couple months because of quarantine. So I really need to do a restock of my acrylic paints. I don't use them a lot, so that's why. So I'm gonna call up the art store and see if I can go by and pick up some paints because um, my red is basically empty and I realized I don't even have a blue. I only have like this teal color, so that's a bit of a problem. So I think I'm gonna have to go grab that before I continue with this guy. Whew, okay, I'm back. I survived. So I just went to the art store and it was very successful. It was actually very easy. I got more red, more blue, this really pretty lilac y kind of color, some green. I also got two packs of dye that I'm gonna try and some fabric markers. Can you tell I had a gift card? So this is dry now. I'm actually happy with how it's looking so far. Uh, I'm definitely gonna add a lot more to it though. It probably won't even look like the same painting once I'm done. I'm gonna take a little break now from art, even though I just took a break to go for a walk, but you know, a break from my break. <laughs> I'm gonna do some exercise that'll hopefully bring me back up to human functioning level and uh, yeah, I'll see you after that. Okay, finished. That's good. I feel like I'm gonna get the burst of energy soon once the extreme tiredness wears off. <laughs> I did a uh, Rachel Galata video and yeah, she she doesn't mess around and it's good. It's like apartment friendly so you won't make the person working underneath you super mad by jumping around and doing jumping jacks. Yeah, good stuff. I should probably stretch now because otherwise I'm going to be super sore. Like, it's going to be bad. Alright, I'm back and I've turned this back into an art studio so we're going to go ahead with this painting. Um, I'm going to add some more detail into here now that it's completely dry. I'm also going to go over these green areas again because the paint that I was using was really old and it just didn't go on very well. So 
Um, it should be okay to paint over it. And I'm going to add some interesting techniques, which I'll break down a little bit, but mostly this is just going to be sped up because I want to listen to music. I need music to make good abstract art, like otherwise it's just going to look bad and then I'm going to make a video of a bad painting and everyone's going to be really confused. So I'm going to start adding in some lines now because I want to kind of break this up a little bit. It's looking very globby. Okay, so I am done with this for today. I'm really happy with how it turned out. In the end, I ended up using my palette knife a lot, which I didn't necessarily plan on, but it just kind of happened. Um, and I also put in some oil pastel, which creates an interesting effect with the paint, because obviously it's water-based, so they don't mix. I've also created an area of interest in this painting, which I didn't really plot out on my preliminary sketches. A lot of the time, I just kind of find that it comes organically and just kind of happens in the painting. but that wasn't really happening in this one so i put in this line here i just took my palette knife and kind of like put a line of paint and scraped it down um and i really like the way that that turned out because it's like your eye goes there first but it doesn't hog the painting you still can look at the rest of it not just look at like this one specific thing so yeah i'm just gonna paint up the sides and then i'll clean up this huge mess that i made and move on so that's everything for today uh, thank you so much for joining me for this video it was super fun to make um i'm just gonna be editing for the rest of the evening but i will have a new vlog out every wednesday so make sure to catch that don't forget to hit the like and subscribe it really helps me out a lot and i'll see you then